I've always been told that I'm very real in front of social media and I think that's because I've shown up on YouTube crying because of PMS I've shown up drunk doing a Q&A with my boyfriend I talk about taboo things like menstrual cups and birth control pills and I've also talked about the tough things like my depression journey or my experience in using antidepressants and I think generally I've just always been very comfortable in my own accent, showing up in my own look and talking to you guys in front of the camera my definition of being real online and that's what I'll be teaching you today as well is being real means being imperfect that means the content that you're putting out there is unfiltered and uncensored and it feels like a real person behind the screen that you can actually connect to I'm about 29 going on to 30 and I grew up when our traditional media is TV and, and magazines and all the content that we've been shown growing up has always been perfectly curated for us the models and the actresses were selected with a certain beauty standards the photos on the magazines are airbrushed and photoshopped and everything is just so picture perfect but when social media comes up and the content starts to be generated by normal people like you and I we start to realize that all these things that we've been seeing all this while it's been selected and curated and edited for us and they are not real they just create this unrealistic expectations for us on how we think how things should be and that brings me to the first point on how to be real on social media and that is we need to unlearn what we've been told in our lives all this while which is only pretty things go on screen now even though I personally prefer to show up when everything is set up nicely like my background is nice, I have makeup on, I, I put on a nice top but I'm also very comfortable showing up without all of those things and hold on for a minute, let me just show you something this is me without makeup with my t-shirt that's a little bit wet because it dripped when I was drinking just now and my bedroom that is obviously not tidied up Kevin's laundry it's still over there this is not the setup that I would like for my YouTube to be to be educating but I want to show you this because when you are able to show up even when things are not picture perfect you are creating that sense of familiarity and relatability with your audience because this is how most of us are 90% of the time and when you are able to show up this way it helps them to connect with you and feel like hey, we're not that different after all and of course, we all have our own preferences on how we would like to show up in front of the camera like for me personally, when I'm making an educational video content like that I choose to be more polished up so that I can be taken more seriously and just not too casual as you're seeing my content that's why I choose to be dressed up and sitting here like that but what I'm trying to say is we are all human we fart, we burp, we get emotional, we get angry at the traffic and it's completely normal to show this part of us to let your audience experience your humanness and you know how you act silly or crazy or funny in front of your close ones? If you're able to share that in front of the screen on social media, you're literally inviting your audience to be a part of your life, to feel connected with you, to feel like they are actually living life together with you. The second mindset work that you need to get through to be real on social media is to fight your fear of being judged for who you truly are now I know it's so much easier said than done to be real to yourself to own your voice and to embrace yourself but let me tell you it can be done for me personally as well I've gone through the longest time of not showing up in front of the camera because of my fear of judgment I was worried about people judging my accent because I'm a Malaysian but I speak pretty proper English but I'm not sure if my English is good enough to be like an American or a Canadian things like that but I decided to stop giving a fuck after reading a book by Mark Manson and I chose to focus on the things that matter the things that didn't matter was my fear for judgment which is judgment for other people but the thing that actually matter 
was my message, was my desire to be a content creator, to show up in front of the camera and to talk to you. And I decided to just focus on that first. Now it's a baby step, okay? When I first started doing it, it was uncomfortable and I still had that fear in my voice, but I just kept fighting on. And when I first started, I would have a script prepared for myself so that I would say the correct things and I don't forget things. But I felt like it came to a point that it just felt very scripted and it doesn't feel natural. And so I started to then improve myself. I started to just have bullet points to kind of guide me with my thoughts and I would just speak naturally as the idea comes in front of the camera. Just like what I'm doing right now. So you would see that as I'm talking to you, it feels like I'm talking to a friend and that is what I'm trying to do because I always remember that whatever video that I'm making, it is for the person who is watching it. It's not to the camera, which might feel really awkward at first, but you get used to it. But just think of it that you're talking to a friend and when you're talking to a friend, sometimes they don't make sense at first too. But eventually the puzzles come together and things would make sense for them. And what you want to do is to just own your true self, just be the self that you would be when you're talking to your best friend, when you're talking to your close friends, when you're giving them advice, and just be that person for them because your audience are going to feel the energy that you're giving to them. Now, one more thing that you need to do is to also to stop being a people pleaser. I know us as humans, we have this need for validation and when it comes to putting content on social media as well, we have this all sorts of metrics that would validate us by liking the content, by giving us a thumbs up, by giving us a subscribe, by dropping a comment. There are all sorts of validations that we can be seeking, but you need to stop doing things just for the sake of this validation. You need to stop focusing on pleasing people and to start focusing on your true message, on what you actually are set to do. Imagine this, if we were all to be abiding by the rule, to be loved by everyone, don't we all become a robot that is just always pleasant and nice? Why do you think that Emma Chamberlain, Jenna Marbles, PewDiePie did so well on YouTube? That is because they are unafraid to voice their opinions. They are unafraid to do things that people might condemn them. They have so many fans, but they have so many haters as well. But it's because of their courage to just not please people, but to focus on what they really are and to just share what they really think that helps them to feel that they are real. With that said, being real on social media is not an excuse for you to air your dirty laundry or to be an asshole on social media. It is still important to be careful with whatever you put out there. If it hurts people, it's gonna come back to you and one day you're gonna get cancelled for it. Now I hope these tips are helpful. I'm literally just sitting down and we're vomiting whatever I think, but I thought of sharing this because since that's something that people always tell me about, why don't I share with you what I think made it work for me to be real on social media. Good luck in being your most authentic self on social media, but again, don't be an asshole. And I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye!